Last time on Races to Places. Met a guy last night named Colin, who's uh, got a collection of motorcycles. So this morning I'm just heading to the Lesotho border uh, and I stayed in a place called Lady Grey last night and met a nice guy called Eugene and he offered me some tracks to get over to the border without going on the roads which is superb, some really nice technical tracks. The reason I'm going to Lesotho, uh, I need to renew the carne for Basel so I need to check out of South Africa into a new country and for that I'm going to use Lesotho and then tomorrow I'm going to check back into South Africa again on the new carne. So just changing over documentation. Now normally you can just go to a customs office and do that but I had a small issue where, uh, where I, I let my carne expire while I was out of the country so they wouldn't just renew it. So have to do the border crossing but it's not something that I'm not used to. Eh? So I've seen some things on the side of the road but I've never seen a half skinned cow or calf. Some locals getting tucked into this one. They'll be feeding a few tonight for sure. In the middle of nowhere. Well, it's been super cold temperatures here in South Africa for the last week. I've been riding in rain, strong winds and freezing temperatures. And although it might not look like it because the sun is shining, uh, it's still really cold. There was a huge cold front coming through South Africa and I just happened to be riding right in it in the mountains. So um, we got as much stuff as we could to share, but I just wanted to say yesterday uh, I failed with the carne transfer in Lesotho and uh, I discovered a lot of information but basically um, it looks like I either need to get a substitution, another one, which is looking very unlikely, or I need to leave South Africa. Uh, that's the South African Customs Union which includes Namibia, Botswana, Lesotho and Swaziland. So plans are going to change for me now over the coming weeks. I need to figure out what I'm doing, where I'm going um, and we'll take it from there. get our first glimpse of the truck Terence and Lyndon will be competing with in the Harris Smith 400. So we are in uh, just outside of Johannesburg today and uh, with the guys from Redlined uh, for a little bit of training in advance of the Harris Smith 400 which takes place next weekend. So we've got a couple of days here training with the guys for me to familiarise myself with the car and a little bit about navigation and how the car works inside the equipment and of course to get used to driving alongside Terence Marsh who's going to be driving the car in the race. Uh, so yeah, let's get this show on the road, get some training done. Here at Redline Motorsport they do everything from building high spec rally cars, trucks to hosting international events and also top level Dakar dune training. This is my kind of place. The truck is a Nissan VK 50 VE, which has a power output of 390 brake horsepower 
a six-speed sequential gearbox, whew, that's not for the faint-hearted. So, Lyndon's role during this event is to be the co-driver, or in other words, the navigator. He will be sitting in the passenger seat of the truck and reading pace notes to Terence. At the speed this truck is capable of, you can imagine that there is no room for any errors. This scenery in Africa really does look like something out of a movie. It's fantastic. Okay, so here we are for the first day in the Red Line Nissan. I'm going to be spending some time with Terence Marsh, who's going to be driving, and I'm going to be doing some navigating. It's the first time I've navigated in a car, so the process is very similar, but there's some slight differences that I need to get used to, so calling the notes will be a bit different. Also getting used to the car, the speeds, the braking, acceleration, what the car's capable of, uh, so I'm just looking forward to getting out and having a good day without the pressure of racing before the upcoming event, Harry Smith 400 next weekend. Whoa, man! As I said, these trucks aren't for the faint-hearted. I'm pretty sure Lyndon will enjoy delivering route orders to Terence. The training day complete. I'm pretty sure Linda will be sleeping well tonight after that day of adrenaline fueled navigating. <laughs> after the training day yesterday, where Terence put the truck through its paces, it's now essential to give the truck a thorough check and replace any parts that are needed. It definitely looks like these boys at Redline have a professional setup, which will make an enthusiast like Lyndon very, very happy. Wish I was there with him. Here we can see Lyndon marking his road book, highlighting key areas with different colours. As you can imagine, it's hard to concentrate when the truck is at race speed, so these bright colours stand out to ensure Lyndon can deliver accurate information at the right time for Terence. So here we are at the Harry Smith 400, just arrived this morning. The wind's blowing, it's going to be a wild day, but the good thing about the wind is that it's going to blow the dust away. Cars are behind me, you see the preparation gone into this. Perfect preparation, the guys have done a great job. I'm going to go to documentation, scrutineering, and then uh, this afternoon we've got the qualifier race for tomorrow. Exciting times. Scrutineering and paperwork time. This is the point where Lyndon signs his life away. Make sure you fasten your seatbelt, son. You're in for a good ride. Well, that's it now, it's official. It's time to go racing, I've signed my life away. Now we're just getting the data card filled up with the information, the GPS information for the race. This kind gentleman behind me is going to uh, fix me up with my micro card. I'm looking forward to it, I'm really excited. Um, but obviously that comes with a bit of nerves. It's the first time navigating at pace in a car um, but uh, I feel that I've done the best I can to get ready for it and I'm really excited to go and give it a go so let's go do it Oh, I can feel the buzz here Terence and Lyndon are on board the truck and qualifying is about to get underway That's 
it. That's the, my first time in the car under race conditions with Terence and uh, wow, it's hectic, eh? It's like really hectic. Uh, we hit something so we had a bit of a moment and uh, then we had a small problem with the brakes so we were just making sure the car was right. A couple of calls in the road book were actually wrong so we made a, two stops instead of one. Um, went through the wrong fence post once but it was a real eye-opener about how sharp you have to be on the navigation especially when there's somebody else listening because if you say nothing they have no idea what to do so you have to keep informing them of what to do and if you're not sure then you need to check the GPS which I'm not used to so I didn't check the GPS but all in all good time we made it through solid we just had to do one hairpin turn to get the right road and uh, that was good looking forward to tomorrow now so we're just on route to it's um, so it's Saturday the 15th of September and I'm just driving to the start of the Harris Smith 400 cross country race it's the fifth round of the South African Championships and I'm going to be racing in the red line Nissan Navara T1 uh, yesterday we did qualifying, qualified, this is with Terence Marsh driving qualified 17th overall and 16th class pretty clean run, just a couple of navigation missed calls, not missed calls but complicated calls that we got wrong on the road on my part which I hope to sharpen up today uh, made a few amendments to some of the road book from yesterday and also tightened up a few things that I think might be a little bit tricky um, but yeah hoping for a good run today and I'm really looking forward to it So here we are Terence, about 20 minutes to the start of the Harry Smith 400 race. Uh, we had a pretty pretty good run yesterday, a couple yeah. of mistakes we can improve on today, but uh, how do you feel about it all? Yeah, nice and clean man, it was a good debut, as you said, a couple of mistakes, but nothing serious. Uh, it's as good as I've had uh, from uh, from someone in the hot seat, so looking forward to today, I really am. Yeah, me too, and uh, it's a long day, it's eight times longer than yesterday, so it's going to be uh, a lot of time in the car, about six hours, five, six hours in the car, yeah. something like that, yeah. so yeah. it's, it's a uh, closed, closed little office environment, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snug, snug for two of us for a long period of time. Good job we're used to each other's company, eh? Terence uh, handed me this, handed me this and uh, walked away. And, Thought, well, I think I know what it is. It's a pee pipe. For those that didn't know, uh, so we put this little uh, condom thing around the little fella, put the pipe down the trouser and out the bottom of the car, and that's how we take a pee when we're on a long stage. We just hit something really hard in that stage, like really hard. Um, we've broken the shocks on the car, so we've already had to stop once to fix the jack. So we stopped to repair the jack here was falling down, um, so that it's not staying up correctly. Uh, so we stopped to fix that. We did a quick fix on that, uh, but now we've broken the front of the car.
Hi everyone, I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for watching my media and for all the great comments that I receive every single day, please keep them coming. I'm just going to share with you my Patreon page. Patreon is a membership based platform that gives creators like me the opportunity to continue cr to create the media that you love to watch. For just a few dollars a month, I can give you priority viewing, I can give you special features, informative posts about the things that you want to know. It creates a platform for interaction between you the viewer and me the creator. Now a few dollars a month might not seem like a lot to you but for me collectively it makes a huge difference. So please check out the link at the bottom of the page and I appreciate any contribution you can make to make my job sustainable. In return for that I promise to keep creating great media that you love dreaming up new projects, filming it and sharing it with you all. Thanks.